Hi guys, Ryu here with another video for Blender and this one is a bit different. Uh, we're gonna talk about design and you know how to start a block out, how to think about it. So you can see a time lapse of me creating a very quick draft of a off-road, like a you know kind of like a roamer or like an off-road planetary truck. And you know, I created maybe like six of them. Um, in span of you know like two or two and a half hours so the, you know the whole idea is to play with shapes okay now I know that a lot of people will say like you know oh I need to some references you know I need to look at some references to be able to come up with shapes but this is not the way you're gonna learn okay the way you're gonna learn and develop your style is to you do have to look at references and you do need to build some visual library but you need to start looking at shapes, basic shapes. And when you create something, you think if these shapes give you some idea of where to bring it further. So like here you see that what I'm doing is it's, it's a very basic shape, right? And I edit wheels and I sort of, you know, offset them. So one is a bit bigger and this kind of chassis is a bit tilted. And I'm just simply playing with shapes, trying to fit them together and balance them off and make it look like a, you know, kind of like an off-road sort of sci-fi truck. So instead of looking at reference and trying to replicate it, I'm actually focusing on what I'm seeing and trying to play off of the shapes I'm seeing on my screen. Okay. And it's a bit more complicated. It's, it's far more complicated than actually replicating a shape that exists. This is why I tell you guys that, you know, I'll never do or create something that already exists. Like, you know, people ask me to create, I don't know, some fighters from Star Wars or some, someone asked me to create a club trap from Borderlands and I get so many requests like this, you know, but I'll never do that. And the very simple reason for it is that it just gives me nothing. Like like I said, it gives me literally nothing because all you're going to learn is simply how to replicate someone else's work. But this is not how you... The way you grow as an artist is you need to build a visual library that's essential and you need to look at a really good art. So go to art station, find some top dogs in the industry and follow them and follow whoever they follow, okay? And if it's within your genre, this is what you need to do. And you see, like, within the 30 minutes, you know, I came up with basically a ready, a ready shape and I'm starting already a new one. And I closed everything, you know, there's nothing on my screens. I just have a cube and that's it. And I'm actually thinking, how about I'm going to create something new now? How about I'm going to approach it slightly differently, okay? So I'm going to go, um, you know, with, with slightly different idea. Okay, different shape of wheels, different shape of a chassis, maybe a bit more sporty. So try to think, you know, look look deep into your mind and, and just try to, based on what you've seen in your life and experience, try to visualize something, some interesting shapes that are going to play together. Because it's all about shapes coming along together. It's a balance of shapes, okay? round squared whatever the hell it doesn't matter it's just a balance of shapes and stop thinking in terms of you know a final product start thinking about what you actually are seeing on the screen right now okay and try to build off of what you're seeing right now because if you're going to start thinking about the final destination you, you're gonna get you know frustrated because it's just way far you know too far ahead no one can think that far okay because how we work is that we simply um, take a basic shape and we start playing with it and then and we alter it. Then we start seeing different shapes. But to be able to see these shapes, you need to train your mind. It's like, you know, when, when you start learning one language, it's a bit difficult. But when you learn one or two, it gets easier. And when you learn five, you know, it's just really easy. So when I when I came to Japan, I spoke already like five languages. So for me, Japanese, you know, was, was, wasn't easy, but it wasn't that tough because I had this sort of like a brain memory to, you know, learning languages. And the same thing with everything, you know, it's just you need to train your brain to, to be able to help you and assist you um, during your creative process, okay? 
So instead of looking at references, which just literally doesn't help you with anything, right? Look at the references beforehand. So like I, what I usually do, I grab this pure ref, you know, which is a fantastic program uh, for references. And I gather everything in one spot and I always pick up stuff that actually um, I like to look at. So something that I think is a good art. And, you know, I, I don't look at the details, I look at the general shapes, you know, about the balance of, of the forms and ideas, because that's that's what's 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 it all about. It's not about details, okay? Details come at the, at the end and then define the shapes and they sort of close them, but they're not really creating any new shapes. You, you got shapes established, the, the general balance of composition, and you just build on top of it, yeah? So this is the most important part you know, in learning art uh, or anything really, is to create your own style, right? But to be able to create your own style, of course, you need to, you know, learn on other ex uh, other people's examples. But you, if you're going to just replicate them, you'll literally learn nothing. You, you're just going to be good at replicating stuff. So don't be, you know, a copycat and try to push yourself harder and try to go the hard way because that's the quickest way to r really learn to you know and be able to create something outstanding and very unique yeah and that's the goal by the way that's it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it give us a like and sub if you did as usual the links in the video description to all kinds of add-ons like hard ups box cutter which actually i use for creating these uh, uh off-roaders and on the screen right now, what you see is simply uh, um, renders of of that final uh, that final shape and you know the final car or truck with some decals and just to, uh, just a render. So I just wanted to show you that even a simple thirty minute block out with few decals can look amazing if you know what you're doing in terms of lighting, composition, and so on. So if you would like to improve these, you know, you can just hop on my YouTube channel and watch some stuff there. But we also have fantastic uh, stuff on Patreon. So if you're interested in supporting us, we do critiques every week, uh, every month. And people send us their works. And this is a fantastic way of learning for all of us, really, because, you know, we all learn from one another. So if you guys want to push your, you know, skills to another level, this might be a good idea as well. Tomorrow I'm going to be dropping a time lapse in which I, uh, which will show you how I created this image, which is a composite. Just uh, simply, I took uh, three renders and brought them into Photoshop, mixed them up together, added some background, and created you know like a quick composite. So it was like a literally very simple model with without any details whatsoever just a block out and just few decals and few chamfers and there you go so anyway guys thanks for watching catch you next video